this series. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Mm. Oh my goodness. We have a banana and and, and, and so was it sour cream, right? Yeah. That's sour cream. And, and, and was this orange juice? Yes. Mm. I got, you know, my breakfast, I got to have my orange juice. On. <laughs> I got to have my, that, that gave me the pep, pep, the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alicia Flair. Give her a big hand. Now, Miss Flynn, it's just like, what's that song? Like, what's, what's that? I think that's some song, Stephanie Mills singing uh, in the wind. Home is where I want to stay. Oh, you know, what's it? something like that. <laughs> well, anyway. Home. Home, yeah, home. And you know, you always welcome back home to the elementary. Well, thank you, Mr. Matthews, and I'm glad to be here at Sisters Uptown Bookstore. It's the place to be. I just want to talk about hypertension for a little while? Yes. It's something that we can have control over. I mean, it's yeah. time for people to stop running to the doctors oh, no. every month to get another prescription filled for medication that eventually is going to damage the liver, okay? Uh -oh. And oh, let's take man. it back into our hands. We can control this. High blood pressures, when that pressure is a normal, is 120 over 80, all right? High blood pressure, they want to call it Oh, you've got 150 over 90, let's put you on the pill. Mm. Please ask your physician to give you some time. Because food is medicine. Food is your pill. It can control it as well. Mm -hmm. I've been a nutritionist for 18 years. I've worked at what a What I want to discuss is what most physicians don't discuss because they don't have time and they're not nutritionists. So they don't really have the time or the knowledge to tell you this. They came up with a study about 10 years back called the DASH diet. Not the seasoning dash, all right? Dash for dietary approach to stop hypertension. The dietary approach to stop hypertension. It was conducted by the uh, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and it was done over 10 years ago, all right? They took 459 people with high blood pressure. They said, do me a favor, we want to see what happens if we give you foods that are high in magnesium, potassium, and calcium, and we're going to follow you over time. Mind you, these are foods. This is not medication, all right? We're going to follow you over time and see what happens. In two weeks, everybody's blood pressure dropped. The yeah. top number, the systolic, came down by 11 points, all right? The bottom number came down by 6 points. In two weeks' time, we are no different from a studies group. All right, our bodies will respond the same way. Magnesium, potassium, and calcium. What do we know bananas have? Potassium. But high in magnesium, too. Mm. So now we're missing the calcium. Why not have some yogurt with your banana? All right? There are so many foods you can combine, and it acts like a pill. You mean act like a pill, huh? Mm. What they realize it does is that it relaxes the arteries relaxes it, like makes it more elastic, relaxes. So when that pressure's up and hitting and hitting, it's going with the hit. The walls of the arteries are going with the hit. They can't even pick it up in a stethoscope. It's going to stay low and maintain. Let's put you on a pill. Mm. Please ask your physician to give you some time because food is medicine. Food is your pill. It can control it as well. Uh -huh. I've been a nutritionist for 18 years. I've worked at a Bronx hospital. I won't mention names. Mr. No, never please do don't. <laughs> but I always beg the doctors, give them a chance. Let's work together. But they didn't want something they didn't want to give them a chance on. No, because they're liable. If the person has a stroke, why didn't you have them on medication? Mm -hmm. Or the other hand, and I've seen the inside, is that you got to get these numbers going, get them in here every month mm -hmm. so that we can make money. A quarter, money. huh? Hmm? That's like a quarter, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and just they like, like the traffic cop, you know, like, give me out of the street, they, they, they yeah. are a quarter. Yeah, yeah. they so. beat, beat those doctors down so hard, they say, look, if you can't get your quota in, you can, you can walk, you know. And then they and give, 15, so they give 15 minutes, they give, they give me, you know, I go to the clinic, they give me 15 minutes. I told one guy, I said, I said, well, I know your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Or they may even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the clock on the wall say you got to go. That's right. If we don't control this, we know that we could have a heart attack or stroke, but we can also go blind. You know, people don't get to know or it's not discussed the other things that having high blood pressure can do. 
If you damage a little vessel in your eye, wherever it breaks, you see a little blood clot, and you're blind on that side for the rest of your life. There's no repair there, all right? The kidneys, they filter out all the blood. In 24 hours, 150 quarts of blood run through there, or, and they're hitting the walls if your breath pressure is high. It's hitting the walls of the little artery in the kidneys, the little vessels, all right? Damaging them. It's like damaging a root and after a while, water can't go through it anymore. So the plant dies, all right? You damage those little vessels in the kidneys, the blood can't get clean. So let's hook you up to now dialysis to let dialysis mm -hmm. do it. So just as much damage is done with hypertension as it is with diabetes, all right? The neuropathy in the feet, those nerves can't get the blood they need to stay nourished, so they die. And that pain and that, you have no feeling there, all right? You step on something in the house, you don't know it's infected. Let's get it amputated because you didn't know that long that infection was going up your leg. Now it's time for amputation, mm. right? Men are never told in their doctor's office that this is why you might need Viagra down the line is because you'll become impudent because it takes blood for the male reproductive organ to act the way it needs to. And once those little vessels get damaged from that high blood pressure hitting, 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 forget it. You know, these are things that we want to take out with us when we leave here. We don't want to lose these organs. There's no need for it. Why? Because we're taking too much sodium in? Let's stop. Let's start reading the labels. All, okay, the labels, you know, we want that person to name what well, is an all-purpose all seasoning, right? Right, an all-purpose seasoning that all of us know about and we're not mentioning names. But we know and love. <laughs> But let me tell you this, when you're reading your labels, you're going to look at the serving size first, all right? This says just a quarter of a teaspoon, not just a little teaspoon, just a quarter of that, and we shoot down and say, well, yeah, how much sodium is in that quarter of a teaspoon? It says 350 milligrams of sodium is in a quarter of the teaspoon. So the whole teaspoon, four times 350, 1,400 milligrams. We all should be below 2,000. If we have high blood pressure, we should be on 1,500 milligrams. It's in that one teaspoon. What do we do with this all-purpose seasoning? We sprinkle it like it's a blizzard, under, over, around the chicken, and through it. We don't stop, all right? And people say, well, I don't put salt on my food. It's already in there. You know, we got to wake up and see what we're doing to our bodies because we're doing it, all right? I would the like, to say, I'd like to say, yes. I'd like to say this. Um, I remember two of my former co-workers took me out to, um, you know, took me out to, um, you know, a retirement party, you know, five years later on. And um, this was it. They sat back there. They went to, we went to a popular chain restaurant. Won't mention the name on the air neither. Stay off the air. They sat back there, and they looked at the stuff that they had, there, and they examined everything. I never forgot that. I never forgot that. Uh, 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 Sonola and, 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 and Nisha. They examined everything was on that menu, and they start questioning the way the way the way it's going. To be. No, 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 no. They question you. Um, you're paying about. Um, they're doing this putting sodium, you know, a sodium thing on on the besides have calories on on on, on menu. You are you paying with sodium? Put sodium on. What they're doing now, and I I am very appalled that. What we'll do is what your government says is that we'll put little salt shakers next to things that are high. And so, later for your salt shakers, we want to know what, what we want the label. Show me the label. Yeah. Show me how much sodium is actually in this thing. One of these well known restaurants, and I know we don't mention names, but everybody goes. Hmm. Lots of yes. So, Google the restaurant. See, Google sodium in menu. Whatever you're choosing, whether it's shrimp or lots or whatever the thing is. Google the restaurant, shrimp menu, or whatever, sodium, all right? This particular restaurant, every menu has no less than 5,000 milligrams in the meal that you choose. 5,000 milligrams. I want to cut it again. I know when, when for the professor that I go out, oh, I said, oh, my God, you're so picky, picky, picky. <laughs> And he said, I'm not going to eat that stuff. He said, and, and, and he said, and, and, and he would question what, you know, and I went out with a, with a friend of mine, like my daughter. We went out one night. I'll never forget this one. This is a good one, a classic. I, she was over in one restaurant. I said, I said, oh, we got the restaurant. And so I said, okay, I'll be over here so fast I can. So I went over there to the restaurant, and the funny thing happened is that, uh, 
I thought I was gonna have me a big dinner, a nice meal. I ate up with steamed vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I ate up with some steamed vegetables. Well, here, here, here's your meal. Steamed vegetables. <laughs> And then I went out another night, I went to those places and they had, I think they had fish and chips. And um, instead of, 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 of having some potatoes with my fish and chips, it, it was sweet potatoes. So you know, in a way, you watch out for, you watch out for me. And, and, and the way the professor keeps telling me many times, you know, you know, you have to, you know, like, with certain these things, because these people are, you know, they just, they just work their magic in the kitchen and they work their magic on you. Yeah. <laughs> Deadly magic. <laughs> Deadly. But um, we can control it. This DASH diet, the diet against hypertension, right? The magnesium, potassium, and calcium is not hard to do. Now they're making orange juices. The orange juice is high in potassium and magnesium. Now we need the calcium. Do you see your orange juices now? You see calcium in them? In a glass every day. It acts like the pill. It's going to help your arteries relax. And I challenge anyone to do it. How about this do one? Do it. This one we have the calcium in the, in the yogurt. This is vanilla yogurt. Get whatever yogurt you want. We need the calcium. And the banana. What's the cream? cream? No, no, too much fat. Too much fat? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Watch out for the fat because that's yeah. high cholesterol. The banana has the potassium and magnesium. Now, a lot of people believe that, well, I just eat a banana every day. Get the calcium too, all right? Man is trying to do it for you, but the calcium, the three of those combined, relaxes that artery. It's going with it. It is not going to break. It's not going to damage. It happened for 459 people in the study, and it can happen for you too. How, how long did the study for? They, they, study. they It stopped after two weeks. Everybody was controlled. Everybody. The top number dropped by 11 points. The systolic came down by 11 points. The diastolic came down by 6. All right? That's a lot. Two weeks for banana and yogurt. You know, you're gonna get bored with it. So there's a list of everything that you can choose. You find the vegetable or fruit that you love that is high in potassium, magnesium, and just get the calcium in there. Say like the sour cream you mentioned. Yeah. People like avocados, high in both magnesium and potassium. Now we need the calcium. Throw in, you throw in your sour cream. Have a guacamole or whatever the thing is. But make food the way you like it. But make it food is medicine. Sure. Make it cure. It's ready, it's waiting for you. The blueberries I added, interestingly enough, they find that blueberries, antioxidants for the brain, for memory. Why does it help the memory? Because as we age, we're getting damaged. It's the process of aging. Now, how does this damage happen? These little cells are being picked on. It, 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 oxygen is a free radical. We got. A lot of people like to barbecue, the smoke that comes from the charcoal, yeah. free radicals. Free radicals are dangerous, all right? That means they're running around, let's say we have an oxygen molecule, two electrons, EE. -E. One of them drops off after you breathe it. It needs to be stable, it wants another electron. It's gonna take it from your lungs, yeah. it's gonna take it from you. It's gonna pick, pick, pick. Yeah. Now your cell is cancerous, dangerous. Yeah. And it's gonna pick on another cell and replace that electron. Yes. The foods have the electrons. That's what makes them antioxidants. And they freely give it away without damaging you. Take mine, leave her alone. Listening, you have a question. No. I'm listening to her because, you know, it's, it's very interesting. And, and things yeah. that we, that we, take every day but we don't we don't eat them in the right quantities or the right proportions or just mix them the right things together right yes. and enjoy the other stuff lower the sodium watch what it is you don't need that we didn't ask for that sodium i don't want all that salt on my potato chips or my tortilla chips you know but now i can't even find a place that doesn't have it and one <laughs> last thing i'd like to say is that um yeah, you find the orange juice, you find the things that have all three of them combined, lower your blood pressure, and it, it's a done deal. All right. On that note, I'd like to thank you very much. And you and, and we're gonna bring you back for, for another show, okay? Thank you so much for having us. And okay. thank you. Okay. And we thank everybody for watching the LMS show. We would like to thank uh, the professor, we like to thank um, we thank Sergio Clark for, for bringing right direction in. Also to Otis, 
and, 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 and Sister Jennifer and, 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 and Corey and, and everybody. And we'll see you soon. More of Elements of Peace. Stylin', wildin', livin' it up in the city. Yeah, Chuck Song with St. Laurent. You gotta kiss me something so pretty. Too hot, hot dance. Go the police and the fire, man. I'm too hot, hot dance. Make a dragon more to retire, man. I'm too hot, hot dance. Say my name, you know who I am. Too hot, hot dance. Am I bad about that money? Break it down. Girls hit Chalaluya. Girls hit Chalaluya. Girls hit Chalaluya. Cause up down folks gonna give it to you. The right direction's gonna give it to you. The right direction's gonna give it to you. Saturday night and we're in the spot. Don't believe it, just watch. A celebration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We gon' celebrate and party with you. Come on and celebration. Come on, celebrate and have a good time. Celebration. We gon' celebrate and have a good time. It's time to come together. It's up to you. What's your pleasure? Everyone around the world. Get down on it. Come on in. Get down on if it. Really want it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Listen. Get down on it. This is not your first rodeo. Get down on it. You know how to party. Get down on it. We invite you. Get down on it. Come on, you know how. Get down on it. We want you to get down on it. Come on, get down on it. Get ready to get down on it. We go all over the world. Join hands. Start a love train. A love train. We go all over the world. Join hands. Start a love train. A love train. The next stop that we make will be England. Tell all the folks in Russia and China too. Don't you know that it's time to get on board and let this train keep on riding, riding on through. Well, come on, people all over the world, ride, join hands, start a love train. A love train, people all over the world. Join hands, start a love train, a love train. And so many times.
know, ladies, you didn't stop there. You gave us something else. My love. Oh, never I was inside you. And made me sure you gave my pride back to me, precious friend. In you, I'll always have a friend. You're someone who I can. Deep in, so walk go path that sometimes be without you. Life has no meaning or rhyme, like notes to a song out of Can I repay you for having faith in me? God bless you. You make me feel brand new. For God bless me with you. You make me feel brand new. Me with you.